What makes a country truly democratic? Is it just about having elections, or is it something more? Is it about the people, the leaders, or a delicate dance between the two? Luckily, we have something called the Democracy Index to help us navigate this complex world. Think of it like the Yelp of nations, but instead of reviewing the best tacos, it ranks countries based on their level of democracy. The Democracy Index looks at some pretty serious stuff, like free and fair elections, civil liberties, the rule of law, and whether the government tries to rig the system in their favor. It's a pretty big deal because it gives us a snapshot of how countries are doing in the Freedom Department. In this series, we're going on a wild safari through the savannas of democracy, shining a light on the incredible stories coming out of Africa. Buckle up, folks, because we're about to dive deep into the world of African democracy. Coming in at number 10, we have the land of lemurs and baobab trees, Madagascar. Now Madagascar might be known for its unique wildlife, but let me tell you, its journey towards democracy is just as fascinating. It's been a long and winding road for this island nation, with its fair share of political turbulence and economic hiccups. But through it all, the people of Madagascar have shown a resilience and a hunger for democracy that you can't help but admire. They've been working hard to improve their electoral processes, making sure that every vote counts. They're also making strides in protecting civil liberties because who wants to live in a place where you can't even complain about the government? Not me. And while Madagascar still faces its fair share of challenges, from poverty to corruption, it's important to celebrate the progress they've made. They may be small, but they've got big dreams, and that's something worth rooting for. Next up at number 9 we have Kenya, a country that's no stranger to the global stage. They've produced some of the world's greatest marathon runners, and let me tell you their democracy has been on a marathon of its own. Kenya's known for its vibrant and sometimes chaotic political scene, it's a multi-party democracy which means there's always something to debate, always something to protest, and always something to keep things interesting. Now Kenya's had its share of electoral controversies, let's be real. There have been accusations of rigging, vote buying, and the occasional disappearing ballot box. But, here's the thing about Kenya, even when things get heated, they always seem to find a way to come together and move forward. So let's give it up for Kenya, a country that proves democracy is a journey, not a destination. At number 8, we have Tunisia, the birthplace of the Arab Spring and a beacon of hope for democracy in the region. Back in 2011, Tunisia was ground zero for a wave of protests that swept across North Africa and the Middle East. People were fed up with corruption, lack of freedom, and leaders who looked like they hadn't updated their wardrobe since the 1970s. So, they took to the streets, demanding change, and guess what? It worked. Tunisia managed to overthrow its longtime dictator and paved the way for a more democratic future. Now Tunisia's journey hasn't been without its bumps in the road, but through it all, the Tunisian people have shown a remarkable commitment to dialogue, compromise, and the messy, beautiful process of building a democracy. So here's to Tunisia, the trailblazer, the risk-taker, the little engine that could... Coming in at number 7 we have South Africa, a nation that knows a thing or two about overcoming adversity. This is the land of Nelson Mandela, Desmond Tutu, and a struggle against apartheid that captured the world's attention. They fought one of the most brutal systems of racial segregation the world has ever seen, and they emerge victorious. Now that's what I call a comeback story. But South Africa's journey didn't end with the dismantling of apartheid. They had to build a new nation from the ground up, one that was inclusive, just, and free from the shackles of its past. And while they still face their fair share of challenges, South Africa remains a shining example of what can be achieved when people come together to fight for a better future. So, let's hear it for South Africa, the comeback kid, the nation that dared to dream of a rainbow nation, and is making that dream a reality. At number 6 we have Senegal, a country where democracy has its own unique rhythm. It's a place where vibrant political debates spill out onto the streets, where music and dance are intertwined with political expression, and where the people hold their leaders accountable with a smile and a sway. Senegal has long been considered a beacon of stability and democracy in West Africa. They've had peaceful transitions of power, a relatively free press, and a commitment to upholding human rights. They've faced challenges, of course, from economic inequality to youth unemployment, but through it all, they've maintained their commitment to dialogue, consensus building, and finding solutions that work for all Senegalese. They're proving that democracy can be vibrant, engaging, and even fun. So, next time you're feeling down about the state of the world, take a page from Senegal's playbook. Because in Senegal, they know that democracy is not just a right, it's a celebration. Coming in at number 5, we have Ghana, the Gold Coast of West Africa, 
and a country that's been shining bright on the democracy front. Ghana was the first sub-Saharan African country to gain independence from colonial rule back in 1957. Since then, they've been on a mission to prove that democracy can thrive in African soil. They've had coups, military interventions, and moments where it seemed like democracy was hanging by a thread. But through it all, the Ghanaian people have always found a way to pull themselves back from the brink. So, let's raise a glass to Ghana, the gold coast of democracy, a country that's showing the world that Africa is not a monolith, and that democracy can take root and flourish in its own unique way. At number 4 we have Namibia, a country that's relatively new to the democracy game but is already hitting it out of the park. See Namibia gained its independence from South Africa in 1990, after a long and bloody struggle. And let me tell you they learned a thing or two about the importance of freedom and equality along the way. So, when it came time to build their own nation, they decided to do things differently. They looked at the mistakes of the past and said nah we're not doing that. Instead they embraced inclusivity, diversity and the idea that everyone deserves a seat at the table, regardless of their race, ethnicity, gender or sexual orientation. So let's hear it for Namibia, the inclusive nation, the country that's proving that democracy is not just about elections, it's about creating a society where everyone feels valued, respected and empowered. Coming in at number 3, we have Cape Verde, a small island nation off the coast of West Africa that's making big waves in the democracy department. Now you might not have heard much about Cape Verde but, let, let me tell you this little archipelago is a hidden gem. They've consistently ranked as one of the most democratic countries in Africa, and for good reason. Cape Verde has embraced a model of inclusive governance where everyone has a voice, from the fishermen in the villages, to the tech entrepreneurs in the capital city. And while Cape Verde still faces challenges, like water scarcity and unemployment, they're tackling these issues head-on, with a spirit of innovation and a commitment to sustainable development. So, let's raise a glass to Cape Verde, the island of inclusivity, the little nation with a big heart, and a shining example of what's possible when people come together to build a better future. At number 2 we have Botswana, a country that's often called the diamond of democracy and for good reason. See, Botswana was once one of the poorest countries in the world, but then, they discovered diamonds. Lots and lots of diamonds. Now you might think that finding a whole bunch of sparkly rocks would lead to corruption, greed and all sorts of shenanigans. But Botswana decided to do things differently. They used their newfound wealth to invest in their people, build schools, hospitals and infrastructure, and create a society that benefits everyone, not just the elite few. Botswana has enjoyed decades of peace, stability and economic growth. So let's give it up for Botswana, the diamond of democracy, a shining example of what's possible when a nation puts its people first. And finally at number one, the reigning champion of democracy in Africa, we have Mauritius. That's right folks, this small island nation off the coast of East Africa is not just a tropical paradise, it's a democracy powerhouse. Mauritius has consistently topped the democracy index, scoring high marks for its electoral processes, civil liberties, government transparency, and overall commitment to democratic values. They've got a multi-party system that's the envy of many a nation, a free and vibrant press that keeps everyone on their toes, and a commitment to the rule of law that would make even the most hardened judge crack a smile. But Mauritius's success is not just about ticking boxes on an index, it's about the spirit of its people, their commitment to dialogue, compromise, and finding common ground, even when they disagree. So, let's hear it for Mauritius, the crown jewel of African democracy, a shining example to the world that even small islands can make a big difference. So there you have it folks, the top 10 champions of democracy in Africa. We've seen the progress, the challenges, and the incredible resilience of the human spirit. The Democracy Index is more than just a ranking, it's a reminder that democracy is a journey, not a destination. It's about constantly striving to create a more just, equitable, and free society for all. From the bustling streets of Tunis to the serene beaches of Mauritius, Africa's story is a testament to the enduring human spirit. The journey towards a brighter, more democratic Africa continues. And if these 10 nations are anything to go by, the future is bright, full of hope, and brimming with the promise of a continent that's embracing its full potential.